Okay, today what we're going to be looking at uh, is going to be looking at the endocrine system. And we're going to specifically look at the various uh, signaling pathways that different types of hormones can take. Uh, and obviously this is something that has to be memorized. Um, so one of the first pathways that uh, we can go through is a cyclic AMP pathway. Um, now, what you'll notice is the, the first hormones that you'll notice is they're all going to be hormones related to the uh, anterior pituitary, uh, specifically the stimulating, stimulating hormones. So this is going to be um, your uh, FSH, LH, your TSH, uh, ACTH, uh, as well. So these are going to be all your anterior pituitary hormones, and um, obviously one that's similar to FSH and LH and TSH is going to be your HCG and if you remember they have the uh, alpha subunit in common but they have the beta subunit is different. Um, you do have one hypothalamic hormone uh, which is uh, corticotropin releasing hormone which acts on the uh, AC to release ACTH and then we have one posterior pituitary hormone uh, specifically uh, ADH. Um, also, some extra hormones which are not related to pituitary that also uh, work through cyclic AMP is going to be the melanocyte stimulating hormone, which actually is related to ACTH, uh, parathyroid hormone, and calcitonin. Um, a quick mnemonic for this to, I guess, help you mem memorize this is flat champ. And so it goes FSH, LH, ACTH, TCH, uh, CRH, I could have made that a capital, sorry, uh, ADH, MSH, and PTH. So that's going to be all of your uh, hormones there. Now, so, um, this is going to be all of them related to cyclic AMP. The other one that we're going to look, like, look at is cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP are all the vasodilators. Um, and the two that we're looking at here is atrial natriuretic peptide found in the heart and um, nitrogen oxide, which is also known as endothelial derived uh, releasing factor. So that's going to be your two for the vasodilators. Now, the uh, IP3 pathway, oops, IP3 pathway, um, this is, this is going to be usually uh, hormones that uh, activate other releasing hormones. Um, so, in particular, we're going to have gonadotropin releasing hormone, growth hormone releasing hormone, and thyroxine releasing hormone. Uh, those are the, two, the ones that activate other releasers. Also, uh, we have ADH, um, oxytocin, which is hormones, and other ones that we're going to look at are going to be H1 receptors. Uh, angiotensin 2 and gastrin. Now, uh, mnemonic for this is G GOAT. So that's going to be GNRH, GHRH, oxytocin, ADH, and um, TRH. So that's going to be all the ones related to IP3. Uh, then we have steroid receptors. Obviously, here we're going to be looking at our steroid hormones, uh, estrogen and testosterone, which obviously would be steroid hormones. Testosterone. Um, there's also going to be, uh, of course, aldosterone, which is a steroid hormone, and oh, over here also progesterone, so we can write that in there as well. Um, and then you have vitamin D, which is a uh, fat soluble uh, vitamin and cortisol which is obviously al also a corticosteroid. Um, the mnemonic for this one is uh, VET CAP not the best one but this is what wants to do. Um, the next one we're going to be looking at is going to be uh, tyrosine kinase uh, so this is going to be intrinsic first we're going to have intrinsic tyrosine kinase activity um, here you want to more think along the lines of insulin, 
and obviously insulin growth factor 1 which is activated by the growth hormone and then we have fibroblast growth factor um, clearly derived growth factor and the dermal growth factor. So these are generally the ones which are acting on the actual tissue level. Um, then we have the uh, receptor associated tyrosine kinase uh, and these are going to be uh, prolactin um, and growth hormone. They both are going to be working through this. Um, and we also have some cytokines, interleukin-2, interleukin-6, interleukin-8, interferon, um, which works through this. And um, the way you want to think about this, uh, as far as a way to memorize it, um, these are going to be uh, acidophils and cytokines. So that's a good way. And this is also known as the JAK stat pathway. So if you see that, that's, that's going to go here. And over here, this is going to be the MAP kinase pathway. Uh, and here you want to think of growth factors as well. So these are growth factors work with intrinsic tyrosine kinase and uh, acidophils. And cytokines work with the receptor uh, tyrosine kinase.